pickup. Where's the baby? Inside. You're watching him. You're watching him like a yama watches kids. He's what? behind you. Talk about your baby. What do you mean by that? You heard what I said. I said it out loud. <laughs> I think Christina said it. Uh, <laughs> should I grab that or it's probably okay? okay. That's part of it. I'm afraid of it. I see. What? The gasoline. Try to put gasoline on. Oh yeah, because you almost burnt off several times. Wait, you're gonna be at midnight. I'm late. Oh yeah, it'll be twenty. You say he can come at midnight? Yeah. Honey, you can come at midnight. I'm dead. You need to hear what he was saying. Yeah. You know she likes to put the. Where that table come from? My trunk. My trunk. With a table. Yeah, she said she keep a table and a chair with her at all times. You put something in your mouth. What you got right there? What is it? This is Riesling. It's pretty light. You want to try it? It's actually really good. I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. You know what it smells like. Mm. Look, now I went no. with QT2 on this wine tasting. We went to one in DC. Okay. Yeah. Um, orange chata. <laughs> what was that? I don't remember that. Orange soda, honey. Oh. <laughs> orange chata. That's what I drink. Play all day. Okay. All right. This, 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 uh, oh, um, Cream, you're by the door. Tell Quasi to bring some more candling up from downstairs. Paper. Here, look, y'all. I'm doing this for y'all. Okay, get your little Janela. Get your swig on. Look, get this on camera. I don't know what it is. The Riesling. You finished it already. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think it tastes pretty good. But you lit already. I don't need to drink. And then um Really? You got nothing? <laughs> Hello, I have. Shut up! Well, what's the prices? I was trying to do it and they were pushing me, so I couldn't see the price. These only sting you if you have negative energy. So you don't have to worry about it. As long as you keep it positive. But these won't sting you. So you don't have to be afraid. They're a pretty color. I was just about to ask, what's stopping them from just running through the so electric wire? An electric fence. Avery, look. We gotta Avery, go look. to the grass and the lion section. Guys, come Avery. on. 
these might be my these might these might be my brothers in blood. Like, Look, elephant. The elephants are your family, Look, your real family. Look so yellow, right? This is all the African section. So we're gonna see giraffes, zebras, warhogs. Gorgeous. Hi, how are you? Oh, the parrot. It sounds like it's something else back there. The parrot might be Hi, there. how are you? What? I see it good for a second. He's trying to reach that. I knew he was trying to see what? Oh. The blue and blue macaw. The Orkin Children's Zoo. I say, I say. Please and thank you. Please. Hi, Mr. Owl. I'm gonna Milky eat it. Eagle Owl. Literally. Oh, look at it. It's right literally here. turning its whole head. This one right here, King. Stop, right? Where it is, a stop. <laughs> I can't tell because they had to stop. Boo 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 Target run. I just left the store. And while inside, I did receive a little bit of a download, okay? And what hit me was that, because what I've been telling myself today, I had a little bit of time to think. Um, what I've been trying to instill in my head today, as I am being hopeful about things to come in the near future, as I am feeling myself. Um, level up in life energetically just meaning that you know I just feel I feel higher these days I feel happier these days I feel more abundant more joyous these days and I know that what I want life to look like is on its way and anyway you know in having that happen I am constantly trying to ground myself in gratitude so that's been a theme of today is, you know, be grateful, be grateful, be grateful. Even the little things, even the things that you feel like should have been better or, you know, sometimes there's just, there's like a trade-off, you know, because um, what happened today? I was in Publix grabbing lunch and I wanted some coconut water so bad. I'm trying to check my gas because I need to go to the station to make sure I ain't this in here right out of gas. But, um, oh, I need to put my phone. Oh, no, wrong phone. I'm charging. Okay, I'm tripping. But what happened? I wanted coconut water so bad. So I went and got, you know, the big one because I was like, I really want me some coco coconut water. And the price was $4.44. I was like, did they do that strategically? Because a bitch like me is going to buy some shit that's $4.44 because it's, you know, $4.44. I was like, whatever. I want it. I'm going to get it. And I was like, dang, I really wish it was cold. 
So they only had the short ones that were cold. And I had to pay a little bit more for it. And I was like, man, I don't want to pay more for it. But at the same time, you know, what I what I ended up getting for lunch ended up being a lot cheaper. So I was like, okay, you know, that's that's a trade-off. That's fair. I feel like sometimes I'd be too worried about trying to get the leg up, trying to get the advantage, trying to, you know, hoard, you know, resources and hoard, you know, my shit for myself sometimes. And that was just a reminder that, like, you know, sometimes shit is, is supposed to be a fair trade-off. Shit is supposed to be a fair trade-off. Who says that, you know, you're supposed to always come out on top? Because if you're coming out on top, who's coming out on bottom? You know what I'm saying? And also, it's like, how has that served me? Always trying to hoard. It's like, I ain't got a million dollars yet. So hoarding is doing exactly what? I just feel like it's just keeping my fist so tight that, you know, I'm so pressed about not losing that shit. It makes it harder to gain. Anyway, I feel like I'm getting off track. Hopefully... If you follow and if you're not following, something is still registering and making sense. But I say all that to say, I get to the point where I'm at today, that just kind of fueled that idea of like gratitude, gratitude, you know? I'm in the store just now and a message comes to me that, <sighs> the message was that, um, you know, there is no way that life is supposed to go. We get disappointed, we get, all up in our feelings when things don't go the way that we think that they should go but in reality like who says that like life is supposed to go a certain way and if life is supposed to go a certain way am i tripping or just like my eye look weird and if it if life is supposed to go a certain way who we don't know what that way is so that just takes away the ability ability to even be disappointed for real like I mean, you know, something could happen and you could like dislike that it happened, but like nobody says shit was supposed to be away. And that's how we get our feelings hurt. When you can't always be grateful for the things that do go positively. That's the caveat to me. It's like, no, I don't know what life has in store for me at all. I really don't. I can be hopeful. I can be intentional. I can choose joy and I can choose gratitude. And even in the bad times, choose those same options because it feels better, shit. Feels better. But yeah, it just, it hit me like disappointment is really wild. Like the fact that we, I feel like feel entitled to life going a certain way for us. And I won't even try to make it seem like it's a negative thing because for some of us, we've had struggles in life already. Life has been hard. And now we're like, no, life is supposed to be better for me now. Life is better. I want better. I demand better. I demand that shit goes the way I want it to go. And it's like, who are we to make these sorts of demands over our life? Whatever God has promised you, God is going to provide for you. And to do it on your timing, to do it in a way that makes sense to you is like, who are you? You know, even though me and the universe, like we, we partners, but even if my best partner called me and be like, Hey, I need something and I need it now. I, you know, it, I think you'll be okay if it don't come right now, you know? Um, you're going to get it, though. I promise you're going to get it. Now, if it's an emergency, you need you need some help in, in the case of an emergency, you know, that's something else. And even then, shit. What if I am in motherfucking Alabama, you and Cali, and I can't help but get to you when I can get to you. So, you know... We just can't be making demands and having all these expectations because, look, we don't even know what the damn story is supposed to be. We don't know what the step is following the next step after the next step. And it's like we know these things and I'm not saying anything new because there is nothing new to be said. But it's just a reminder, you know, it's so easy to forget, especially when so much in life is telling you that, like, this is how it's supposed to go. This is what you're supposed to do. This is the order. This is the program. And if you're not with the program, then it's like, what are you doing? But, you know, God uses a lot of people's experiences, a lot of people's journeys to remind the rest of us that like, oh, shit don't have to be perfect for it to be beautiful and to be better than what you could have ever expected. So I'm about to get the hell on out of here. And um, yeah, talk to y'all soon.